Cured in Place Pipe CIPP, is a tarantula solution which rehabilitates damaged pipes. CIPP allows for the formation of new pipe within existing pipe without trenching or total pipe replacement, and all with minimum disturbance to the surrounding infrastructure. The first step in the CIPP process is creating or finding an access point. A manhole may be used, but if one is not available, the access point may need to be excavated. The access point is usually installed upstream of the damaged pipe. However, it is possible to start downstream. This is less practical though. Once the access point is in place, the existing line must be jetted. Pressurized water is used to clean out any debris or obstructions in the pipe. This would lead to weak points in the new line. Therefore, the step must be done thoroughly and with the assistance of a camera to ensure quality. It may be necessary to jet the line more than once. As the line is being jetted, other workers will prepare the liner, epoxy, calibration tube, pull tape, and recirculation hose. They will cut the liner to length so that it can easily cover the damaged section of pipe. To create the epoxy, resin and hardener are to be combined. Once mixed thoroughly, the epoxy is to be poured into the liner. While this is happening, a vacuum system must be attached to the other end of the liner to make sure that no air inhibits the total saturation of the liner with epoxy. This is known as the wet out process. The saturated liner is then ran through the calibration roller table to ensure that the epoxy is uniform throughout. Finally, the liner is rolled into an inversion drum. The calibration tube, or cal tube, is cut to length as well. It will be inverted into the liner. The cal tube will inflate and cause the liner to be pressed firmly against the existing pipe. It will be longer than the liner so that it can stretch from the drum to be on the end of the liner. Within and attached to the cal tube will be the pull tape and recirculation hose. They will be pulled through the cal tube as it is inverted into the liner. Both the recirculation hose and pull tape are of longer length than the cal tube so that they can remain attached within the drum when the cal tube is fully inverted. The recirculation hose is used to distribute hot water and steam. The hot water and steam is what will, in effect, cure and harden the epoxy. After several hours, the new pipe will be set. The pull tape is then used to withdraw the cal tube and along with it, the recirculation hose.